Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PMF, The Fifth Element of Health. And in this video, we're going to look at the QRS system. And they say QRS 101, but it's the same exact system that I got back in 2003. You can see from the old-fashioned um, uh, computer plug-in here from the 90s. But it's, you know, it's still one of the better PMF systems on the market. Uh, this video series is a rebuttal to Dr. Truot that showed unfairly that the IMRS and the Beamer had electrosmog when I showed in the past two videos there was no electrosmog at all. And it's worth noting that the so-called Fisher patent for electrosmog that was mentioned by Dr. Truat, there's actually no evidence that it was actually ever implemented into the QRS system. And I have been talking to an engineer who has a QRS that told me this directly. So regardless of if Dr. Fisher had a patent for limiting electrosmog, it actually never got put in the QRS. But anyway, let's just, I still suspect that there won't be much electrosmog because like the IMRS and the Beamer, the QRS is a low frequency, low intensity PMF. So the real systems that we have to worry about are the high intensity systems. So let's just kind of do a baseline here. Um, I'm gonna use the same meter that Dr. Truat used and hopefully the background here isn't too bad. Looks like it's around 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So now I'm going to turn the QRS on and we're going to set the QRS to the highest setting just as I did with the Beamer and the IMRS. We turned it to the very highest setting. We're going to put on vital and intensive. So it's the highest setting. We're going to press start. Okay, so now it's starting. So with it on the highest intensity, looks like just as the Beamer and the IMRS, no electrosmog or not very much. Yeah, just a little bit, not a whole lot there. And now let's let's go over to the mat here. You can hear that it's, it's, it's noticeably on. This is showing the magnetic field is definitely is definitely on. So the system's definitely on. And, you know, really no electrosmog. Again, we saw the same thing on the IMRS and the Beamer. And what you're hearing, like the IMRS and the Beamer, is, is a ringing of the higher harmonics. And cheaper systems don't have this because they use cheap waveforms. And to create a really good sawtooth or square wave, you need to have those higher harmonics to create sharp edges. Um, and one thing worth noting with the QRS, which I do think is one of the better systems, is it uses really big oval racetrack um, coils. You know, and, and they're loosely wound, which is not ideal because the field lines are going to bleed out a little bit. So I do like the Beamer and the IMRS. They have the more tightly wound coils. And especially the IMRS uses even better copper and even tighter winding than the, than the Beamer does. But these three systems really, I feel, are the best three systems out there right now. And they have the richest history of research. The only thing I'm concerned about with QRS right now is that a lot of the U.S. distribution centers have dropped them, and if your system, something happens to it, you have to send it back to Europe. And I've read on forum some people having trouble getting their, their systems repaired or serviced. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, some people that I know that are really connected to the European PMF community, seems like a lot of distributors for QRS are just no longer selling it anymore. So I don't know what's happening with QRS, but they are still using the same system they used, I don't know, at least at least 16 years ago when I first got mine, where the IMRS and the Beamer have gone through two or three generations since, and they keep evolving. The QRS, even though it's good, is staying the same. So that's why I'm a little reluctant to recommend it to people anymore, because I'm just not sure if anything happens, how well it can get serviced if they have to send it all the way back to Europe. But anyway, it's still a good system, still one of the best research PMF devices on the market. And just like the IMRS and the Beamer, there is no electro smog. And um, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or if you're confused by the Dr. Truot videos on electro smog, please feel free to call me 941-928-0124. All right, thanks for watching.